might say even that if you wanted to use the metaphor of um, of archetypes that emanate well it's not really emanate but it's archetypes that exist somehow in relation to the ego somehow mm-hmm. it's not that the ego is them it's not that they are the ego but it's complex and so many archetypes uh, they're quite are very strong so there's quite a thing going on and it feels quite conflicting because the like elements that are more of the light should we say that can evolve in a person and evolved in me are there and these other archetypes are there and they're strong but it's like feed the dove, starve the crow and one doesn't give the other um, archetypes too much oxygen to mess things up Mm. but they're strong so it's quite a thing going on and the ego is like Ah, it's not. It's not very evolved at all. No, it's not. No. Doesn't really know what it's doing. It sort of does, but sort of doesn't. It's like an organizer of chaos half the time. I'd say I'm living it. Probably living my life purpose. It's hard to say, but a number of human beings have been touched along the way. Yes. Not least my daughter and others, uh, one feels that the synchronicity of the journey is such that any one of these individual things you could take as your life purpose. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that there's a number, quite a number of them, makes one feel in many respects privileged to be on what is actually turning out to be quite a varied purpose and far-reaching purpose potentially if you wanted to see it in those terms if you want to put it in terms of a purpose it would be multifold but it would be in helping other people other beings beings of people people of beings Mm -hmm. and definitely there's um, an evolutionary well it's beginning to look like I'm realising who I was all along Mm -hmm. but never knew it never knew I had this information so realisation is a massive part you could say that might be purpose because one's realisation mine would be taken on from here I'm not sure whether it was lost or needed finding again or whether it was just all part of the journey living with the ego is quite a ride and maybe that's part of an ongoing purpose I sense is way more evolution in many respects and you know now the ego has been brought up Mm -hmm. now we're being part of it it's not always easy though to know the ego and 
because it's such an unconscious driver. 